Let's play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead version 0 0.5 and Aiden Harris. Last time Aiden explored and scavenged a science lab, but was forced to escape upstairs when the old inhabitants and other creatures started waking up. Between the videos I took most of the things Aiden found to the vehicle, some ammonia, bleach, things like that, but uh, I also have to leave behind some super glue, some glass bottles. Uh, I unloaded the batteries from the flashlights, hot plates, uh, soldering irons and such, and only kept one. Same thing with sewing kits and uh, and such. I picked up all the books. I had a double copy of the How to Browse the Web. Let's, um, let's leave a note here. The science lab here. Uh, I could, of course, go down, but I won't do it now and some glass bottles. What I will do in this video is uh, return to town. I will uh, visit the old evacuation shelter to pick up the flamethrower that Maya, the NPC who died, uh, dropped and uh, some other things that were there that I don't remember now. And then I will return to the garage. I want to modify my vehicle some more. I want more storage. Uh, I want to turn it into a real mobile home. Maybe add a bed, like kind of a sleeping space. Maybe a mobile kitchen as well. But um, first I need to get there. And uh, I will visit the evacuation shelter on the way. But first I will... Take a little risk. Aiden found five flasks of mutagen and two purifiers. And the mutagen can give me up to four mutations, which are effectively same as the traits I picked up at the beginning. Or actually the traits are mutations, if you will. And the purifier does the opposite. It uh, can remove some mutations, good or bad. Um, if I had picked the robust genetics trait at the beginning, uh, the mutations would be uh, biased towards the positive or the negative ones would be less likely. But because I don't have it, it's all random. Uh, I might get three or four negative ones and no positive ones. And then the purifier would only remove one. So the risk is I'm taking purifier. If I get something bad, I hope to remove it with purifier, but my, I might end up with some negative ones uh, if I'm if I'm un unlucky, but there's only one way to find out. So let's drink a mutagen. And now I'm ugly. Well, that's not good. Um, uh, nothing too bad about that because I haven't been interacting with the NPCs too much. Let's drink another mutagen. Uh, what? I gained a mutation called head bumps. My existing trait, weak stomach, turned into nausea. My head bumps mutated into antenna. Uh, what? You have a pair of antenna. They allow you to detect the presence of monsters up to a few tiles away, even if you can't see or hear them. But prevent you from wearing headwear that is not made of fabric. So my army helmet was pushed off. Antenna is good. But the bad news is that my weak stomach turned into nausea and now I feel nauseous almost constantly. Instead of just having the risk of uh, throwing up when uh, drinking or something. Um, well, damn it. I would really, really, really like to keep the antenna, but I don't like the nausea. I wouldn't mind the ugly, but now that I drink the purifier, it might remove the antenna, leave other things here. If I'm really lucky, the purifier would hit the nausea, and then I could actually stop there. So let's hope for the best. Well, actually, it removed everything. What the hell? All right. Well, I guess that's good, but uh, wait a minute. No. Antenna mutation turned into weaker version head pumps. So I have a pair of pumps in my skull which do nothing, but it can mutate further. Mm, okay. Now I'm smelly again. I, I just have weak stomach. 
Okay, I'm really pushing it, but I will drink more mutagen. I gained ugly again, and I gained ponderous. I'm slow to move. Alright, 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 alright. Please remove both of those. Well, this experiment ended up with me having head bumps. <laughs> oh, I would have liked to get keep the antenna. Well, next time I drink, or when I drink more mutagen, uh, which I will do when I have more purifier, these head bumps have a chance to turn into antenna, I guess. I guess it's possible that these would mutate into something else, like horns. Hmm. So in this case, head bumps uh, is not doing anything. It's considered negative, but it can turn into something positive. But uh, I really have to stop here. I don't have a purifier. I'm not skilled enough to uh, skilled enough to create more purifier. So I'm leaving. That uh, that was fun, but uh, end result is almost nothing. Let's. No wait. My army helmet was dropped to the floor, was it? Yes, it was. Uh, can I now wear it with the head pumps? Yes, I can. I couldn't wear it with uh, with the antenna. All right, that was fun. More of that when uh, more of that when I get more purifier. I uh, had a funnel here. Uh, I don't need that. I had extra, but uh, I filled up one of the aluminum kegs I found with uh, with water. But uh, let me uh, let me see where do I have space? This is quite full. I will put uh, mutagen into the trunk. Mm. some stuff there, some food. I will keep the royal jelly on me, I think, yeah. So now I will drive to the evacuation shelter and then I will drive back to the town. I will drink something. I'm not sure if I have taken vitamins already, so just in case I will take a couple. I want to keep taking them every day. It's already day 11, which means that actually in a couple of days, I think it's 14 days the season, it will be summer. But uh, more more on that when we get that far. It is night time now, so I will turn on the headlights. I will enable the cruise control and I will drive away. There was a dog here. One of those question marks might be that. There might be something else. Something is following me. Let's pick up the speed a bit. I wonder if the road is slippery because it's wet. It would be extremely hard to drive without the headlights. So uh, I'm here now. I will drive here, then probably through the bushes into uh, into the evacuation shelter. All right. Driving forward, 32 kilometers per hour. There are the traps, and I will turn, turn to the right, fumbling a bit with the controls, but nothing, nothing too bad. My driving is free at the moment. Um, there's plenty of forest here. I will wait until I clear the forest, then turn north. The headlights actually help me quite a bit because I see where the car is heading. So I fumbled a bit to the bit to the left. Okay, let's try not to hit any any bushes or worse trees and uh, drive to the evacuation shelter. Oh, that was close, really, really close. Hitting a tree. Hmm. 
Hitting those shrubberies wouldn't be that bad, but it looks like I'm coming to the road soon. There it is, excellent. And I can already see... See the door there. Fumbling a bit with the controls, but uh, that should be fine. Let's uh, disable the cruise control and uh, take this couple of steps backwards. One... Two, all right, that's enough. Handbrake, exit. Well, there's actually plenty of space. Um, backwards, one, two, three, four, five. Handbrake, exit, we should be at the door. Yeah, close enough. Let's turn on the flashlight. Let's put the curtains on. What is that? That's a broken console, but that's a live one. And a live console is a good one because I can read. I can read on its light. Let's see, what did I left behind here? Let's uh, let's drink something. Because I'm thirsty. Right. Um, okay, there was a flamethrower, but there was also alloy plating. Bionics. How about that? Hmm. Well, the frame flamethrower is definitely coming with me. That's that's for sure. I think I have a watch transistor in the car. Mm, I guess. The, hmm. Well, I definitely pick up the pick up the bionic there. Uh, I won't go into looking installing it before I read uh, what's a transistor and gain some electronic skills. Alright, so flamethrower that I can install to my car, by the way. And the bionics alloy plating. Uh, I don't know. Should I put Jeremiah? <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure I'm not sure if I can if I can bury her. Can I? If I dig a, if I dig a bit and then fill it up, will I pick up this handgun? Yes, I will. You know what? I will do that. I will dig a grave for my. Let's put here the weapon, the flamethrower. and the bionic. Let's put the glass flasks here that uh, I got from the, from the mutagens and the purifier. Uh, I think my shovel is here. Shovel, shovel, shovel. There it is. Alright. Let's go to the backyard and um, let's dig a bit. I have no idea if this will actually work, but I will try. Of course, she weighs a ton, so I need to carry her in my arms. For some reason, I don't. I'm not carrying her in my arms. I put her in my military rucksack. All right. Mm. Now, is the shallow bit enough, or should I? 
should I dig a bit? Let's dig a bit. Then let's drop on that direction her corpse on the pit. Uh, this isn't, isn't working, is it? Let's fill a bit. Yeah, her corpse is there. Um, okay, it's it's not, not working the way I went the way I wanted. Hmm. There isn't uh, dig a grave here, is there? No. Well, that's a shame. I tried. Uh, so I will take her back inside and let her rot in the basement. <laughs> Let's just pretend I actually buried her. Because I tried. I really, really, really tried. Hmm. No, I don't need the snug. Alright, but I got the flamethrower. I'm not sure how it works. If I install it in the back, and then uh, will it use the gasoline from the tanks? Because that would be really cool. Well, anyway, we have uh, plenty of time to think about that. Now, let's turn on the cruise control and uh, drive to town. So I will hit forward, turn south there, go there and then to the garage. Right. I'm not fumbling with the controls that much. Yeah, I'm driving uh, driving almost 50 kilometers per hour and uh, I'm just uh, just going here. The other hand, I'm not really leveling up either. Slowly gaining experience, in fact. Right, let's uh, let's slow down. Taking the turns is a bit tricky because I can't see. Where did you come from, zombie brute? Have I not been through this area? Well, that gives me a chance to test out the new spikes in the front. Almost looked like he actually hit the windshield, but I guess not. There are three spikes there in the front, but I don't think I managed to hit the zombie with that. So now I'm here. Slowly turning. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a bit tricky. No, this is... I'm on the right road already, okay. Bit tricky taking those turns because I can't see very well. Before I take the turn. But luckily I've uh, cleared up the place already and now I'm not fumbling too much with the controls so things are going nicely. My driving skill is going up maybe. Maybe it is when I do something, like I turn the wheel or something, and if I just wait with the cruise control, I'm not actually gaining any skill. Could that be it? Maybe. Okay, there's the hardware store that I... that I dug the bits in the front, and there are some uh, spider chit in there. And I almost fumbled into a to a vehicle here. Not good. And now I'm 
on the street where the garage is. Excellent. It's almost like returning home. This garage is... Well, it is my home, I guess. I have fortified it a bit. I dug the holes outside the windows. There it is. Let's slow down. Start turning slowly. -ish. Try not to hit anything. Oh hell, break. That didn't go so well. Let's back down. Uh, hmm. Okay. Cruise control off. Carefully forward. I slammed into the car. <laughs> and that car, car went flying. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I crashed into this car and the car just is smashed into the wall here, breaking the windows and part of the wall. Uh, and it's still going. I uh, I need to take take apart that vehicle in the front of the front of the, oh hell no 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 back away all right stop uh, yeah i uh, i need to take this car here and break it that will probably be the next day let me see if i can get inside open that one and uh, I have to keep be careful with the spikes as well when I'm driving in so let's turn 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 okay that's good then forward And I rammed into a wall. I wish I could see... I wish I could see how my tires are turning. Yeah, I know I'm tired. I guess my wheels were turned to the left or something. Stop. Handbrake. Exit. Yes. Uh, good. With those speeds, it's not not too bad. To crash to the wall. Now, um, hmm. actually, I need to need to drive forward a bit. Possibly crash onto that wall. Handbrake. Exit. Yes. Pick up all the tools. I am tired now, so I guess I should sleep first. But uh, I will pick up everything here already. Let's pick up the screwdriver as well. The jack. Welding goggles. The welder. Wrench. Hammer hmm. and the backpacks. Let's wear. Hmm. All right, I had one extra rucksack on already. Uh, not eat, but wear. There we go. Hmm. Still over my weight limit. I guess that's fine. I'm just a little, little over encumbered, and I had my flashlight on the whole way. Oh, I forgot it when I visited the basement of the evacuation shelter. I left it on. Oh well. 
I will sleep first. So I will need to board the vehicle to turn off the headlights. I will exit the vehicle. I'm now exited, yes. I'm 0% overburdened, which is nothing. It is only 9 Celsius, so I will put on my filter mask to get some warmth to my mouth. Um, I hope I don't wake up to cold here. It's uh, almost 4 a.m. Let's sleep. Actually, wait. Let's first eat. No. From the trunk. Because there is some chunks of meat here, or actually cooked meat. That will rot soon-ish. Next time I cook, I will create some vacuumed meat or some beef jerky. Because I found all the salt water from the science lab. Not going to board it. I will eat some of the cooked meat just in case. If it goes bad by the morning and then I will sleep. Archery skill went down. And I wake up to the light. It is 1, 1 p.m. I'm thirsty. Uh, my cooked meat is still good, so let's eat breakfast. Let's drink something. Let's drink some more. And uh, then let's go to work. I will pick up... Let's pick up all these metals here. And let's drop them there. Chunk of steel, lump of steel, sheet metal. And let's pick up some more. Steel blading. Wait a minute, I couldn't pick it up. Steel blade. It's too heavy. Alright, because I'm over encumbered already. Is that it? Okay, I'm, I don't need the screwdriver or the hammer, I think. Why do I have... No, never mind. I thought I had six flashlights. Uh, the shovel. I definitely not need, don't need the shovel. I'm not sure about the hammer. Okay, so I can't be over at at all over encumbered when I pick up the heavy stuff. Now I can pick this one item up, right? Oh come on! What the hell? How? Hmm. Can I use it from the trunk? Can I pick up the steel frame? Alright, let me see. Can I take those if I... If I put all the tools back in... If I put um, if I put the long bow and arrows there as well, the casing, extra thread. Can I now pick up stuff from there? I want the steel plating. 
Yes, now I can pick it up. Dropping them to the floor. I need to do it one by one, I think. I should have just left these things here, and because I knew I'd return here to do this stuff, but... Uh, But I didn't, so this is what it is. I'll take the steak knives and take the spikes off them. I'll leave the muffler here, extra muffler won't do anything with this car. Mm. One extra metal tank, sheet of glass, steel frame. Then let's take the steak knives and disassemble them. I think the spikes will go to the floor. Yes. Uh, steel frame, steel plating, steel plating. Steel frames. Steel frames. Oh, this is taking, taking a lot of time. But I started, I will do it now. Then there are the glass flasks. Alright, did I leave something else here? I have all the chunks of shit in here that I could craft something out of. I actually might do that. Let's pick it all up and see what I can craft from it. There's no reason for me to keep them. Keep them there without doing anything with them. Although I might need some racks. Racks to go with them. There's one additional steak knife here. From all, all that string I could possibly create rope, but um, I think I, I might need more actually. Uh, why do I have an extra flashlight here? Oh, I actually have a lot of these things here. Um, okay, well, let's, let's... Let's drop them. Um, it's not like I'm going to do much electronics soon. I might do at some point, but not soon. Uh, same thing here. Uh, don't need the additional welders, I think. There's extra metal tank there. I will see what I can get out of a lawnmower. Vehicle controls, wires, a seat. Mm. Steel frame. Alright. Let's drop them all there. We will see what we can do. Let's drop those, let's wait, let's take the steak knife, disassemble it, and then let's stand here and disassemble this. I need a wrench. I need a wrench to disassemble the lawnmower. Simple, yes. Okay, what do I get out of it? Holy hell! Blades, a motor, scrap metal for springs. Wow, the blades! Of course, lawnmower has blades. Why didn't I think about that? Hmm. Yeah. Let's drop the chunks of jit in there, together with the plastic bottle, actually. Alright, was there something more here? There's the vacuum sealer, steel frames, some spikes. Mm. I have a lot of stuff here, the spikes. Text 
this extra welder I was carrying, that's one as well. Uh, lawn mover, another lawn mover. Slightly damaged metal tank. All right. The metal tank. Then let's take the lawn mover, disassemble it. Yes. The other one, disassemble it. Yes. Let's pick up the plates. All the things can stay there for now. Put the plates there. Actually, let's look with, uh, with the advanced one. What do I have here? So there's food. There's extra welders I definitely don't need. I'm not going to need the sledgehammer. Um, more chunks of chitin. Paragraph strings. Mm, that many strings. Pretty sure I can... Uh, let's pick those up. I think I can put, make them into one rope or something. There's the salt water. And here I have all the bleach and ammonia and uh, more salt water. Let's uh, let's move the salt water there. Uh, now something is is there that many of them? All right. Page one of two, right. Well, now all the salt water is there. Back to the inventory. What do I have here? Nothing too special. I have ropes. I have strings. Let's pick up those strings and the six feet rope. Anything in here? Vacuum sealer is here. Mm. Food, aluminum kegs. <laughs> a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. All right. There's the rope. Rope is fine. There's one smaller rope there. Let's pick that up. Yeah, I still have a lot of extra stuff there that I don't really need. Uh, chunk of cheating there. The sledgehammer can stay. The extra welders can stay. Um, the empty flashlights. Yeah. Where does that leave me? Can I craft some rope? I can create some uh, free feet. Free feet string. And then I need string. Six of those. Okay, let's make that. And I guess I can then repeat that as many times as I want. And then I can turn those into a six foot rope. Can I make that more? No. Do I have enough to put that all into a big rope? No. I would need six, uh, five six feet ropes. Put it all together and save some, uh, save some space. All right, well, that's that's better than nothing. So now I have three six feet ropes and just one string. That is saving a lot of space from the trunk. So that's good. So now everything is here. I'm not hungry. I don't need to eat. I don't need to drink. I will pick up tools. Let's 
Let's pick them all up. The welding goggles, the welder, screwdriver. I already had the wrench. Yeah. All right. So there's plenty of stuff here in my feet. My mechanic skills at the moment is six. Mm, let's see what we can do to this car. Mm. So I guess I need to install some frame here at the end. Mm, should I install double wheels here or something? Oh, I need to repair the wheels when I get the seven skill. That's something I need to do. Um, maybe I will uh, add more space here in the back. So let's install. Mm. So I can create um, ah, right, 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 right. Mm. I can create a trunk. But if I create this one, let's test it out. Let's create that one. Um from the let's make it from the damaged one. So there is now a frame there, but there is no trunk. To this frame, I can install stuff, right. A floor trunk, roof, a trunk. I can create a trunk from a steel frame. All right, so what I'm doing is uh, I will install more of those H frames there the damaged one I will repair it later so there uh, there's not too much too much room to build here but let's make the damaged one um, I wonder how the how this thing will work if I install install additional wheels I have no idea. How's my mechanic skills now? Almost seven. Well, let's install trunks here. That's definitely something I want. So, a trunk. Steel frame. A trunk. Steel frame. Not a trunk. Steel frame. And now am I already at seven skill? No, oh, it's leveling so slowly. So now I have some extras here. Let's repair that frame. I installed it in decent condition, but not uh, too good. So I have four, no, let's install the fourth gasoline tank. Uh, let's make it the lightly damaged one and then I can repair it. Do I now have seven skill? Yes, I do. I have almost eight. So the repair is much more advanced thing to do than installing. I guess that makes sense, of course. Let's repair that steel plating. And now let's start repairing these wheels. Because I can. That was almost broken wheel. Now it's as good as new. The car is in excellent condition from all sides. 
Yeah, and I have three extra trunks. That is that is perfect. I will uh, see what what more I will do. My my idea is that uh, maybe later on I will uh, turn this into a kind of a mini bus. Uh, this um, these three trunks here closest to the driver's seat uh, might make up a cabin. And then I would make another wall here where the second row of trunks is and add a door from the driver's seat. And uh, that would be the sleeping space and maybe there I could also have a, have a kitchen. On the other hand, this other seat here is not doing anything. I don't think I will be, uh, I don't think I'll be uh, giving any rides to the NPC, so that's something to think about. Um, because these, uh, there's only frames here on the side, and the windshield and, uh, and the plating. Oh right, I want to install one plating here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's do that. Mm. Let's put the damaged one then there and then uh, repair it. Uh, so now there's steel plating in the front, spiked plating at the very front. Mm. Wonder if I should remove the spikes and put in blades instead. Maybe I will. Let's remove those spikes. I will see what I do. Hmm. This is good already. I have some extra space and uh, I think I will test out if I put second piece of tires here. How does the car handle then? And uh, there is something I might do here uh, off screen. This. Uh, video is already 45 minutes long and uh, it will be just more of the same. So uh, you can see uh, kind of a middle middle result in the next video. It might take me some time here. And the meat I had is now rotten. Something, something I need to take care of. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I will... Um, I will uh, continue to work on the car here uh, off screen and uh, I'll see you next time when uh, when Aiden returns and uh, with uh, at least more storage space already on the on the car and um, maybe uh, maybe something else interesting I'm I'm really tempted to mount that flamethrower somewhere in there uh, maybe in the back hmm. Yeah, that's that's definitely something I, I want to test out. But uh, that and more next time. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.